Welcome to our channel, Storm Roader. When you first look at the 2026 BRP Tarlac LD601 in its reimagined destroyer configuration, the immediate impression is of a ship that has grown far beyond its original role. What once began as a landing platform dock has been transformed into a multi-mission combat vessel, merging the mobility of an amphibious ship with the presence and capability of a destroyer. The length of the ship, a little over 120 meters, gives it a commanding silhouette on the horizon. Even before diving into its systems, the scale alone communicates purpose. This is a ship meant to move personnel, equipment, and firepower across long distances and challenging waters. Its hull design retains the wide beam and stable structure characteristic of an LPD, but upgrades in the superstructure and sensor masts indicate a vessel designed for much more complex missions than simple transport. The steel plates are reinforced, the lines are sharper, in the layout supports, improved electronic systems, radar arrays, and deck weapons that were not present in the earlier versions of the class. Despite being built on a platform originally intended for slower-paced sea lift missions, the propulsion system has been optimized to balance endurance with reliability. The combined diesel setup still uses powerful, man-built engines, which together generate enough force to push the ship to about 16 knots. While this speed is modest by traditional destroyer standards, the range remains one of the most impressive features of the vessel. The ability to travel more than 9,000 nautical miles without refueling makes the ship a long-distance workhorse capable of sustained operations far from home ports. This long reach plays a critical strategic role for a navy tasked with patrolling and defending an archipelago spread across thousands of kilometers, and for humanitarian missions where the ship needs to stay on station for extended durations. As you move visually from the hull to the weapon systems, the difference between the older configuration and the 2026 destroyer concept becomes unmistakable. At the bow, the main gun system, centered on a 76mm rapid-fire naval cannon, gives the ship a true combat punch. This gun provides surface engagement capability, limited air defense, and the ability to support troops during amphibious operations. Secondary guns, likely 30mm or 25mm chain-driven cannons, are strategically mounted on both port and starboard sides, offering close-in defense against fast attack craft, drones, and asymmetric threats. Compared to the original, lightly armed version with only machine guns, the upgraded armament transforms the Tarlac from a passive support vessel into one that can actively defend itself and its fleet group. Even more transformative than the guns is the installation of a modern sensor and electronic suite the ship now carries advanced surface search radar and an air search system capable of tracking multiple contacts simultaneously. These sensors integrate with electro-optical targeting systems that enhance night and all-weather surveillance capabilities. An electronic warfare suite is included as well, giving the ship the ability to detect, analyze, and counter electronic threats from opposing forces. The presence of these systems changes how the ship participates in fleet operations. Instead of simply following escort ships for protection, the 2026 Tarlac is now capable of detecting threats early, coordinating with allied vessels, and contributing to the tactical picture in real time. One of the most distinctive aspects of the Tarlac design is how it merges combat functionality with amphibious capability. Although enhanced to behave more like a destroyer, the ship still retains its internal well deck, a massive, floodable bay capable of launching landing craft, amphibious vehicles, and fast transport boats. This is a feature not found on traditional destroyers. It allows the Tarlac to deploy marines, vehicles, and humanitarian supplies directly onto shorelines without requiring ports. In military operations, this capacity supports island seizure, reinforcement, and logistical operations. In civilian missions, it makes the ship invaluable for disaster response, especially in remote or devastated regions where infrastructure is damaged or non-existent. The mix of combat systems with humanitarian and amphibious capability is what sets the Tarlac apart from conventional destroyer classes. The aviation facilities are another powerful force multiplier. The flight deck supports the operations of two medium helicopters, 
while the internal hangar accommodates one at a time for extended missions. These helicopters expand the ship's eyes and reach far beyond the horizon. They can conduct maritime patrols, anti-surface missions, casualty evacuation, and search and rescue operations. With minor adaptations, the deck could even support unmanned aerial systems, adding reconnaissance and real-time intelligence gathering to the ship's toolset. For a Navy with limited air assets, having aviation capabilities permanently integrated into a major surface ship dramatically increases its operational flexibility. Moving inside the ship, the crew accommodations and internal planning spaces reflect a vessel built for endurance and large-scale missions. The original complement of just over 100 sailors remains similar, but in the 2026 version, the ship carries more specialized personnel, radar operators, electronic warfare technicians, helicopter crew, marine detachments, and engineering teams capable of managing the expanded systems on board. The Tarlac's ability to host up to 500 embarked troops gives it unmatched capacity among ships classified as destroyers. This mixed-use interior transforms the Tarlac into a forward deployment hub where troops can rest, plan, and prepare for operations while at sea. Amphibious teams can launch directly from the well deck, helicopters can insert forces inland, or the ship can act as a command and control center for joint operations. Beyond the purely military capabilities, the design philosophy behind the 2026 Tarlac emphasizes multi-role flexibility. This is not a ship built solely for naval battles or high-speed chases. Its value lies in being able to serve in almost every situation a maritime nation might encounter. It can deliver aid after typhoons, transport troops to remote islands, stand guard in contested waters, act as a logistical backbone for international missions, and still defend itself with credible firepower. This adaptability is one of its strongest selling points, especially for smaller navies with limited budgets that require each ship to perform multiple roles rather than specialize in only one.